Prepping for a software developer interview at your dream company? But hold on for a second. What kind of roles are you looking for? Front-end developer, back-end developer, or full-stack developer? You need to decide beforehand since your interviewer is going to focus more on your skills and expertise. In this video, we will deep dive into different paths you can take up as a software developer. By the end of this video, you should have a better understanding of your abilities, interests, as well as which developer career path you might easily incline towards. Before moving on with the video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Let's get started. Web development mainly involves three major roles, front-end, back-end, and a hybrid role, which is the full-stack developer. The first thing you need to understand is what are the roles and responsibility in each of these roles. So what does a front-end developer do? The appearance and the user interface of website are handled by the front-end developers. They are mainly responsible for a website's rich user experience. For example, suppose you visit a gaming website for the first time. If the website has an attractive layout, interesting color palette, friendly and easy to understand user interface, it is bound to leave a solid first impression on your mind. This is one of the role of a front-end developer, which is making the UI as attractive, interactive, and user-friendly as possible. If you want to become a front-end developer, you must adapt in languages such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript, as well as familiar with the JavaScript framework such as Angular, React, etc. But most importantly, you need to have an artistic vision to portray the content to the users. If you can master all the required skills and wish to utilize your creativity at work, then front-end development is the right choice for you. What does a back-end developer do? So, what makes a website's front-end possible? Where is all the data kept? This is where the back-end comes into the picture. The back-end developer sets up and manages the technologies running in the back-end that allows the website's user experience to exist in the first place. Back-end development, unlike front-end development, entails client interaction, backend developers work across several databases and integrations from various service providers with a huge emphasis on data. Think of developing a website as building your own house from scratch. You need to start building the concrete structure of your house. Once the house has been built, only then you can start designing the interior as well as the exterior look of the house, the color scheme, the furniture, etc. Without backend development, there would be no scope of frontend development at all. Being a backend developer requires you to have a strong knowledge of programming languages like PHP, Ruby, Python, Java, etc. and have a good command over database technologies like Oracle, Microsoft SQL, and MySQL. When it comes to the income of a backend developer, the average annual salary of a backend developer in the US is over $96,000 and over 7 lakhs in India. If you love working with the data or the logical part of programming, then backend development is your thing. So what does a full stack developer do? The simplest way to describe a full stack developer is to think of him as a jack of all trades. Full stack developers can handle various frameworks and are proficient in both front end and back end technologies. Becoming a full stack developer entails having a holistic approach to development, weighing the benefits and drawbacks of both back end and front end before deciding where the logic should reside. A full stack developer is in charge of the entire flow of a website's experience, from the load time and the layout to the interactivity. This necessitates a full stack developer to have a solid grasp of backend technologies and frameworks along with the proficiency in front end languages and design tools. With such a vast skill set and wide knowledge spectrum, an average annual salary of a full stack developer in the US is over $100,000 and over $750,000 in India. So guys, if you're willing to broaden your skill set and can confidently manage being an expert in both front end and back end, then there's a lucrative job waiting for you in the industry. Being ambitious is what helps you move up the ladder in an organization and your personal career path. But no matter how skilled you are, you can't just jump right up to the senior positions, right? You have got to start at the bottom and then find your way up to the top. So here's the typical software professional career paths for you. Junior developer. Entry-level position, suitable for the freshers, right of the college, mostly requires zero to one year of experience, and the candidate must have fundamental knowledge of the scripting languages, software development life cycles, and database and application services. Then comes senior software developers. 
in order to be a senior developer, you need to have a proficiency in developing entire software applications. Professional journalists spend most of their career in this role. It requires several years of programming experiences and writing complex code is a must have skill. An in-depth understanding of databases, application services, application lifecycle development is required as well. Post that, you become a lead developer or a technical architect. It is suitable for those who want more responsibilities without having a responsibility to manage the entire team of developers. They are responsible for developing complex systems, write code, coordinating with team efforts, etc. The prerequisites to this role include subject matter expertise and technical skills similar to a senior developer and a planning and more development of complex softwares. Post this, there's an option of being a team lead or a SDM, that is a software development manager. They are generally responsible for managing large scale projects, development teams, as well as hiring and terminating employees. They keep track of the workflow and performance to the people who report to them and they directly report to the senior management. It, in this role, it is necessary to be excellent in the interpersonal skills, people management and stakeholder management skills and also having an ability to successfully resolve conflicts between teams. Apart from these, the technical skills, it is also a very demanding role in terms of having a powerful leadership skills. Post that, we have roles for senior management, that is the directors, vice presidents and the CTO. They are responsible for supervising the work of other employees and setting up business strategies as well as the overall company vision. It entails making executive level choices such as long term planning, goal setting as well as departmental accountability. They employ, supervise and fire mid level executives and only report to the other senior level executives such as the CEO or the board of directors in some cases. Well, that's a long road to take but with the right amount of hard work and dedication, you can easily achieve your target position in any leading IT firm, how to choose your career path. So how to choose your development career path. Now that you have a clear idea of the different developer roles, it's time for you to choose any one of them and pursue your career in it. But the question is, how can you do that? Choosing a developer career path is a personal choice and individuals with proficient programming skills and strong technical background have a wide range of opportunities in the market right now. In this competitive industry, you must choose your career carefully to ensure that you earn the most worth of your abilities. Once you have decided upon the career path and the role you want, the next thing is to decide if you want to join an MNC or a budding startup company. Well, startups provide you as a vast scope of learning and enhancing your skills over time. If you like working in a fast paced environment, then startups are the right choice for you. However, MNCs provide a more structured work environment along with a higher job security. Also, the salary and the other perks vary from company to company, but in general, startups mostly pay you a higher package than any MNC. Before you decide on joining any organization, it is always advisable to do some research on it. Find out more about the company culture, its revenue, growth opportunities, etc. Picking the right path does not imply that you must follow it till the rest of your career. Rather, mastering the path is the goal. Once you have accomplished something, you might want to broaden your horizon and expertise by learning new things. So whether you join a startup or an MNC, you can switch to another organization anytime you see yourself stuck at a single place with no career growth at all. After all, the golden rule is you must never stop learning. So guys, this brings us to the end of this video. In this video, we have talked about the different roles in the field of development, front end, back end and full stack. We have covered the responsibilities and the required skills involved in each of these roles. Also, we have taken a look at the typical software engineer career path, how it looks like from an entry level role to the senior management. Finally, we have discussed how you can choose the right development career path for yourself. What are the things you should keep in mind, etc. See you in the next video. Till then, don't forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to the Scalers channel so you don't miss out on the amazing upcoming videos.